The next stop is. Welcome back to the cult of Trevin Gubbs. That is not the official name by any means, but it is a work in, in progress on Gravier's part to name we're, it. We're here today with. Assad uh, Bembo. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What's up, man? YKTV. How you been? I'm um, good. <laughs> uh, um, I'm trying. To, I've been. I've been good. How are How are you? <laughs> good, man. Good, man. You heading over to Albany uh, later? Y- yeah. What you doing? I got. I got to do comedy. I, I'm excited to go back. I guess. I'm. I'm excited, bro. I, I, I like. I'm about to go get probably like. My, I'm from Albany, so I'm probably gonna get like food and stuff. Oh, you're from Albany? Well, I'm from, from like Troy, New York. Oh shit! I didn't you wouldn't know otherwise that. get food doing than the comedy. No, nah, I would get like chicken tenders or something, but Hell now yeah. I'm about to get a home cooked meal. See my mom, like, oh, okay, yeah, that's fire. What does what your What's, mom? Huh? Go for it. What were you gonna say? Are you really okay, Gervier? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty good. Good. <laughs> um, What's your favorite home cooked meal your mom makes? <sighs> uh, bro, all I eat is fried chicken. Maybe like a macaroni and che- I don't know. What 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 do you fuck with? What do I fuck with when my mom makes? I don't, she makes those red lobster biscuits. That's really my dad. My dad is actually good at cooking, bro. He be making the uh, fettuccine alfredo. Damn, shit okay. is hard. You said the red lobster like is better than red lobster. Yeah, no, I don't know. I, I haven't been to red lobster that much in my life, to be honest. What's your What's your favorite nationality of food? Nationality, bro. I was talking about this yesterday. Yeah, because it was. I was thinking either like Italian or Asian. Okay. You don't like Indian food? Nah, naan is crazy. Naan is crazy. That shit go is it incredible? Incredible. You fuck nah. with what, what kind of naan? Bro, I just be eating that shit. Like you could just make the bread, I'll eat it. It's good to me, bro. I, that shit is amazing. I'm I'm a plain Jane type of man. I don't really know. I I used to go over to my friend, my friend Benny Wang. Shout out Benny Wang. Uh, he used to, but he he used to own a Chinese restaurant, and then I'd come and get like sesame chicken. But he would eat like duck and like and like oh, gr- and like green and stuff. Duck what? is crazy. Duck goes crazy. I had that once. Fire. Hmm. You read duck? I never had duck. No. I gotta try it now. We're gonna have an episode where we get your what's the what's the, what's the duck. what's the wildest animal you guys would eat? Are you guys down to eat anything? No. Chupacabra. Chupacabra. <laughs> um, Superpowers from that. Fuck yeah, man. Yeah, no, we I, only got. I think I would eat like like some wild like game like elk or some shit like that. I don't know. That's not that crazy though. But that's like not normal. Oh, elk! I feel like that's like what real men. Oh, yo, we can like, watch stuff too. Like, yeah, we can, yo, wait, we can yeah. watch whatever. Yeah, yeah whatever. that's the craziest. You, let's watch porn. <laughs> <laughs> or yo, you got your tape. Let's watch a tape and then just talk and about critique. it. Fuck right. no, yeah, be yeah, crazy. Yeah, yeah. Fuck no, I actually wanted to pull shit up. No, pull up the what's that gnocchi video? You want no? I'm not pulling up the gnocchi. Well, oh, why not? Because yo, what's your favorite? What what's what your favorite food? My favorite food or fuck, like dude. a nationality? Probably food. Mexican food for sure. Oh, I hate that. <laughs> I'm saying I'm joking. That's crazy. Oh my god, I'm Puerto Rican. I'm Puerto Rican. <laughs> yeah, I swear yeah, to yeah. God. But I really don't like you, bad money. You don't like Mexican food? Swear to God, Jay Balvin. You fuck with opium. Yeah, yeah. I That's do. how kind of how we like bonded, like started talking. Yeah, that is true. This is a fact. You, you fuck with opium? Yeah, actually, he didn't. Yeah. He doesn't know what it is. I know he, Cardi though. Yeah, yeah. Something to do with Cardi. That's I, fine. Uh, I know that. So since you came here, I wanted to pull up a bunch of pictures, and you tell me if you, you think that this person opium is open or not. Or opium. Or Yo, not. that's a crazy game. All right, we can do that. Ready? That's X. Of course, he's opium. All right, all right, wait, wait, wait. He's, the first one. he's like the leader. He's like he walks so they can run. For sure. Yeah. For sure. Oh, Darth Vader. Bro, trying to kill your son is hella opium. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that's mad opium. Force choking people. And he has a red lightsaber. It's not some bullshit. Bro, that's opium as fuck. Opium as yeah, fuck. Yeah, okay, okay. Fuck around. Nah, oh, I, all right. I, damn, I gotta say, he, I gotta find a way. Nah, Josh, hella opium. Well, he doesn't <laughs> fuck at all. Bro. No, not even close. Wait, you got, so you gotta fuck to be opium? I always just, they just seem like they fucking do a lot of drugs and do cool shit. I wanna be a contrarian, so I wanna find a way for Josh to be opium. But I'm, Josh, it, but Josh today. Yeah, he's slimmed Josh down. Today be he's fucking. slimmed down. I think he's got. I think, he's, I got think he's more opium now than than back then. Or no, back then than now. Oh, you think so? Because now he's not even like a misfit anymore. He was authentic. Yeah, know? like look he at He was this. himself. He still got swag. Like he's you can't like fake that shit. Mm-hmm. He's a misfit. I think uh, opium <laughs> is for that too. It's I feel like it's for you know people outside of the box. Now he's like in the. But he looks like somebody you could just see in the financial district. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You know for sure, I mean? for sure. Look at that shirt though. Like, Courage the cowardly dog. He's pussy though. So that's not opium. Bro, I, all right, damn, bro. I okay, feel so like I'm wait, just dick on. sucking opium. <laughs> this is so crazy. Wait, so what, what too, is opium? Like, like, can we can we describe what it is? Like, what is the concept of opium? Um, like, what is it supposed to be? Like, I can't, I've been trying to like define it. It's like 
I don't know. I feel like it's like if you like listen to Nirvana for black people, like it's like it's like teenage angst for black black yeah, people. Yeah, yeah, no cap. Actually, yeah, that actually is what it is. I guess it's like, well, it's it's, it's Playboy Cardi and his collective of uh of rappers. I guess like his collective. There's a video of me on Billy on the street doing that. Wait for real? Yeah, you know wait, Billy on long, the street. Yeah, wait, how long ago was that? When they were, like, uh, <laughs> like if you go on YouTube and look up like just look up Bros promo. Yeah, it's that one. This one? Yeah. Oh, this is it. Oh, shit. You're lesbians right ready to spread the word about my new movie, Bros. Let's bro, lesbians. Let's bro. Bro, bro. Me, me and these lesbians want you to see bros. You're going to go see <laughs> See bros. <laughs> September 30th. Yeah. Watching that shit. What? Because, bro. What? I'm not. I, I don't know. Is they play Cardi in there? They play Playboy Cardi in there? What? You know Playboy Cardi? Yeah. yeah. Nah, they ain't, you don't know who that is. I know who that is. So name one song by him. <laughs> I can't name a song. Name one song by Barbara Streisand, bitch. Oh. Damn. Yeah. Wait, so he just... That's he hilarious, just, actually. He That's just funny. ran into you on the street? Yeah, yeah, that was random. I just got out of class. You said you go to school. You still go I'm to school? I'm not in school anymore. Okay, wait, wait. What, no, what yeah, school were you going where to? Where are you at? FIT. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Yeah, yeah. It was a fashion school. Yeah. It was um very interesting. Yo, actually, bro... My, my, uh, my, you do you have Instagram on here? Yeah. Yo, you should look at my English teacher. This perfectly explains FIT. <laughs> okay. That's an M. Bro, his name was insane. Uh, yeah, that one. This one? Yeah. Bro, this is my English teacher. No, fucking he's opium way. as hell, bro. Wait, I don't know why I opened this story. This is crazy. Hey, hey. <laughs> Hit him with the follow. Hit him with the follow. <laughs> There's no way. This yeah. is your English teacher? <laughs> yeah, right. He's teaching verbs. What? Dude, the cat making an appearance in class. No, bro. He just I, that's crazy of him that he does that. that he just cat, posts bro? hairless cat. I don't even know how is he can actual. No, it's real. It's alive. Yeah, it is. That's it's a conscious cat. ass I don't know choice you got to make to get that cat. Bro, Look that's that a cat. lot of money. How did that cat looks like a person. Yo, key. this cat is disgusting. That hell, bro, is that bro. on the subway? That shit was skin was touching. You never know what's touching the subway if you see that thing on it. Honestly, this page, his page is opium basically. That is. Yeah, bro. But then I don't even know how he can afford full Selene on a teacher's salary. <laughs> bro, that's that's crazy. Okay. I don't know. That's that's true. Okay. That's true. That's he okay. definitely yeah. has a side hustle or something, bro. Okay. Probably works at I a funeral I think he just home. cares a lot. He cares a lot. I think it's like, like if you care that much about clothes, you'll you'll want to get the clothes. Oh, okay. Then, yeah, that makes sense. It's like those people, like find a way to get the fit. Yeah, like he probably like doesn't have a like. He's, that's like, weird though. Why does he teach English? Bro, I have no he's idea. Like, <laughs> he just loves reading. I don't know. I don't know what he wanted to be in his life. If he wanted to be like a punk star or something, I don't really know, bro. He just. He really fucks with verbs. Like, bro, it's crazy. <laughs> Hell yeah, man. Yo, tell us about your start to comedy. You're young as fuck. Yeah. Well, how old? Aren't you guys young? Yeah, I'm 23. Yeah, I feel like that's pretty. 25. Good. That's actually crazy. Good for you guys. Hey, what were you? I'm 20. <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy. When did you start? Um, Like, I got out of high school. Or in 2021, I graduated high school. And then I went to an open mic. Or, or no, no, I was driving past. I was in Albany. And I was driving past uh, with my brother, um, the 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 Madison Theater open mic, and then I was like, oh yo, that, that's a comedy open mic that looks crazy, and I like wanted to do it, I guess already, and then uh, and then like the next week I like came back there with my friend, and I just came and I just started asking everybody like hella questions, and then everybody was going up, and I just thought that they were like incredible, like you you just see somebody on stage and you're just like, yo, this is the best comedy I've ever I've ever witnessed, yeah. <laughs> even though they're like mid as fuck, yeah. bro. I mean, yeah, like at the time, most of those people don't even really do comedy anymore. That's but crazy. I thought that they were like, I was like, how are these people not famous? Like, this yeah, is yeah, yeah. And then, and then I like went after like a week, and then I just started. And then after, and then I like would just go to the mics and just watch. And I was like kind of too scared. And then one time, like after like after like a week of going, uh, this guy Brad was like, "Yo, let, let us all go up. We still have one more." And then I went up and I was like ass, but I was also <laughs> kind of funny. You riffed your whole set. Nah, I had some material, but it was like bad. It was like Bill Cosby jokes and stuff. <laughs> it was like it was so bad. That's crazy. I don't even know. I, I actually, I got bro. They're all my my jokes were shit, bro. I don't even. Yeah. Do you remember your first joke that got like a big laugh? That got like a big laugh. I used to do some joke about uh like not when I remember when I like after like a like a like a week of doing comedy. I did some joke and then they were like, "Yo, bro, that was amazing." But about like nine eleven or something about like. <laughs> Bro, about me like seeing why they did it or something, but I don't even. Re it didn't really make sense or anything. I just think they thought it was funny that I had a different take on it because I just wasn't alive then. So I yeah. just was so. Yeah, I you got like a different style of comedy. It's, it. always, it's always unique to see you going up on stage. It's like, I always, I think I told you this before. It's like, Thank you. it's like watching an odd future member do stand up. That's hilarious, yo, bro. <laughs> I, yeah, yeah, bro. I got the Earl follow. 
Really? Wait for yeah, real, Earl? Yeah. Oh, that's yo, congrats. That's I it. know, I, I but don't I, I can't let that get out there though. Mm-hmm. Be like, oh yo, this kid like hella clutch. talking about some shit that he don't know about. Oh, he's a bitch. I guess probably in like five years, I'll, maybe I'll grow out of that when I like am a better like a, a more confident man. For right now, for real, yeah. Probably. Yo, we saw we saw Taco here really on this block with like uh, yeah. two with two girls, yeah. Bro, yeah, oh my god, random. yeah, I forgot about during, that. During like the well. during like, it wasn't even at, at night; it was like during the day. We were just like we were setting up this pod. I was taking st- stuff out of my car, and we just saw him. Walk. Yo, that's crazy. Did you say anything? Nah, I was just like, yo, that's Taco. I met Taco. Were they both like, bad? The all the, yeah, I bet. Bro, I asked his ex girlfriend for her Instagram with a flip phone. <laughs> you like, did? Yeah, yeah. They were at a pop up, and uh, what'd she say? She was like, "What is that?" Like she was like, didn't recognize like, it. What is that? Yeah, she was like, what is that? And I was like, ah, uh, it's like like a flip phone. And I was like, my phone or something. And she was like, no, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> no. She uh, and then I think Jasper's girlfriend was right next to her, and then they were like laughing. I was just like, yo, this is crazy. But he doesn't date her anymore, so I probably still. I should ask now. Yeah, yeah, you should ask now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you started. You got you got a regular phone now. Yeah, yeah. I just thought okay, it'd be okay. funny. I had a regular phone at the time. I thought it'd be funny. Oh, uh, okay. Wait, well, why were you carrying a flip phone? Because it's funny to ask people for their number. <laughs> With a flip, just just for the tr- where the fuck the do you tr- even get a flip phone? Anywhere they have them, people still use them. They rip them. My sister's dresser. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but yeah, you saw Taco. Was that cool? It was cool. Yeah, it was cool. I, you met you met Tyler, right? He's no, a, I ne- I like, met oh I met Tyler when I was like twelve. That's crazy. In Fairfax. What did you say? Any? What did you? Yeah, say? I went up to him. I was like, Tyler, I'm a big fan. Can we take a photo? So I took a selfie with him. That's crazy. Yeah, and I was like, Tyler, this is this is the best day of my life. I told him that. <laughs> he said that I needed to get a better life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true though. That honestly. Yeah, really I should. Yeah, now that I think about it. Is that the best day of your life now? No, that would be terrible. Imagine. Yeah. <laughs> My best day was outside Still? the Supreme Store on Fairfax, where I got a selfie. With is them. that you're from LA? Yeah. That's fire, bro. Yeah. I like that place is so far. Wait. Love, yeah. Wait. What, what do you think about it when you go? What's out the there? best day of your life now? Best day of my yeah, life. True, oh, yeah. the best day of my life. Um, it's mad random. We were with this guy. Me and my old roommate, we went to like Staten Island and we got like this really good pizza and uh, took some shrooms and we had some fun with people who were just like really chill. It was just like a random ass day. Mm. That was the best day of just pure like joy. Fine. Yeah. What yeah. about you? What's the best day? Best of day of my life. Um. Hmm. Well, actually, I wanted to talk about being in LA. That was actually very fun. That uh, not the best day of my life. That was actually now that I think about it, my living situation was insane, but. Really nice. Bro, I actually, I saw Tyler, too. He was driving by. And one time, me and my friend started tweaking out because he stopped at a red light, like, right when we were on the corner. And I, we were like, yo, yo, like, yo, bro, we're comedians. Like, yo, we're comedians. Um, You should, you should come to a show. And he was like, what? Because he was just blasting some music. And then he was like, I can't hear y'all. And just rolled the window up and just sped off. And then we were like, I'm fuck. dead. Yeah. What a guy. He's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Dang, I future remember that the stand up. That's very nice. Thank you. Yeah, for that's sure. definitely what I'm trying to go, go for. Go for? Yeah, yeah. I wonder, do I have any more? Wait, yeah, so yeah. No, no, we can keep on doing opium. Wait, Courage, a Cowardly Dog? Wait, well, I feel like things. I didn't get my... All right, Courage. But he also be in... He's in very opium places. Cause I feel that's, like, what I, that's why I put him up. I was like, he's in opium. Like, the environment's opium. But is he opium? Hmm. That's a really... He's like... like He seems like he'd be like a rapper manager or something. <laughs> Just like the white guy that's scared to be around, but he's around. He's he could be opium toes. affiliated. I mean, I, mean, I guess Burberry Airy is opium. That's, he's the Burberry Airy. Burberry Airy? Yeah. yeah. That's fucked up. Oh, my God. It's all right. <laughs> if, if, this had, if, if I knew this was like... I, if this was like Bobby Althoff, I'd be not saying this. Oh, okay. No, I'm joking. I'm you got joking. that to go to after this? No. <laughs> that lady... Um, I'll never talk to that white woman in my life. You don't like her? No, not no. Well, she's actually seems fine, but I'm not supporting no white people in my life. <laughs> Never. I, don't I mean, know Trevor's more. right here. Yeah, but you look like Greek or something. <laughs> <laughs> or are you actually Greek? Armenian? Close. What is Egan? Armenian. Egan. Oh. Egan. Yeah, I'm Egan. Is Egan Game of Thrones character? What is that? Oh. Sounds like a Game of Thrones character. No, I'm Armenian. Like Kim Car- like the Kardashians. Oh, I don't really know. Is that? I think that's still white, probably. Yeah, it's pretty white. Yeah. Kind it's like close to Turkey. You love Turkey, bro. I don't love Turkey. It's his but favorite country. It's his favorite com- His favorite country is Turkey. It's Turkey. Yeah. No, no, no. Are you calling him a fat bitch? Maybe. Damn, <laughs> that's crazy. I I am getting a little bit of a gut, man. I be, I gotta stop drinking. Anyways, Professor Snape. Um. Nah. Oh, cause he became a. Nah. Nah. He. I'm not gonna lie. He's pussy. He's not opium. Damn. Cause. Cause wait, but he was doing the right thing the whole time. But he killed Dumbledore. Yeah. 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 I don't That's know. Not opium, he's so just he's, not swaggy, bro. He'd like, be opium if he killed Dumbledore because he wanted to kill Dumbledore. He's swaggy, but like, 
I feel like Neville Longbottom opium, like say no, I'm joking. Well, actually, he looks like a kid that would be at a Cardi concert. To be <laughs> honest, Neville Longbottom. But uh, look at that jacket. Uh, Snape. I feel like I don't know. I I like. I feel like he's. I don't know. I just. I think I just want to be a contrarian because he is very opium. But like, I feel like uh, hmm. Because what what's his what's his his thing that so he's like he hates Harry. Then he could, then it turns out that he was in Harry's favor the whole time. Yeah, because he loved his, Harry's mom. He was a cuck. Oh, that's oh, pussy. Yeah, he, was, nah, <laughs> nah, he, was, nah. he was a cuck. Nah. But Harry looked like his father, and his father bullied him. Yeah, not opium dude, at all. Bullied bro. him and stole his girl, dude. So yeah, yeah, bullied him, stole his girl, and then made him look after his kid. Yeah, nah. <laughs> doing things. <laughs> yeah, that's I guess he's like, not opium. Crazy. Nah, dude, that's not yeah, opium. Yeah, it's not opium at all. Megan Fox. Skip this honky. So, I'm just, oh my God, that's crazy. <laughs> no, nah, I'm gonna um, listen to whatever you say. That's crazy. Thank you. No, nah, bro, bro. I, <laughs> Thank you. Bro. <laughs> you said skip the honky. I'll skip bro, the honky. I, I did some podcast, bro, and then everybody commented recently, like a week ago, and then I only did comment every, and it's like 40 comments would be like, Asad is the worst guest that you've had in history. Hmm. Uh, th- This kid, it sounds like he's just on um, perks. Like, fuck this kid. He's a bitch. Megan Fox. <laughs> uh, uh, um, Are you on perks? No. You got one? Oh, man. Dude, do you think? Oh, that's funny. <laughs> Don't ever give Gervier a perk or anything. Why? Give her, like, you used to take perks? No, nah, I, like, I used to have, like, I had, like, mad surgeries done, so they would give me perks. I had, like, two knee surgeries. What, what does that make you feel like? Perks? Yeah. Um, It just makes you feel like you're on a cloud, but your stomach hurts. fire? I don't know if it's fire, but like the more you take it, the less, uh, less, uh, you know, it's like, it's like with anything, the more you take it, the less you feel. So you need to take more. And oh. then, so then you start taking more and your stomach Scared. starts to hurt. Damn. So like, if you like low tolerance and you take one, it's like, it's cool. It's not like, I don't know why there's like all these memes of like people like tweaking out. Like, he's always on a perk 30. I've never felt like I was like tweaking. I was just always just like chill. Do you and, think it's cause you had, but, but, and you would take just as many as them probably. Uh, I mean, I had like high dosages. Like I just got my tonsils removed a, a year ago. Yeah. And like uh I made the doctor prescribe me like a second bottle because I was just like oh, damn, in a you lot was of pain. Yeah. You made, was, the, I, you made the doctor do it. You're like, hey, yo, bitch, dude, fucking give me the Percocet. Yeah, I was <laughs> yeah. I was up in his face. No, but I needed Good more. For so, you. so I was like taking a bunch. I was up in his face. <laughs> not not getting addicted. That's awesome. No, I was <laughs> I, I didn't get hooked. I took codeine before too. Oh, in, oh, what in, a like, cool guy. What else? <laughs> You're what else? What else? I'm, I'm what else? You're opium. <laughs> They back smash your past Megan Fox. We smash your past Megan Fox. Uh, I'm gonna say pass just in case my mom is listening. Oh, I'm but, dead. Uh, nah, I'm joking. Nah, I feel like I gotta smash. Or, I don't, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, I'd smash but Sex is Death. If she's a lady. I, I, may, I don't think she even likes guys. Oh, okay. Well, then I don't know. Like <laughs> she just doesn't look like she looks like a lesbian. Oh, um, man. Megan Fox, is she opium? I feel like I wasn't really like. Like conscious for Megan Fox's like reign of terror, you know what I mean? That makes sense. Like I there was a like, little time, it was like Transformers shit. Yeah, but when Transformers was high, I was like eight. Or yeah, like so it wasn't five. The... so like, and I don't even think I was like really sexually attracted to like anybody at that time. Like it's crazy how they're all like really either there's such like the ceiling is so high, and then also like the floor is very low for Disney star. Yeah, for real. It's like you can either who's like, the who's the most famous star. Disney star now? Bro, like Zendaya, Olivia Rodrigo, oh, yeah, 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 for sure. Sabrina Carpenter, they're all so Selena famous. Gomez. Or you could just be like dead or something. They're like <laughs> Demi Lovato. Ooh. <laughs> She's down bad, bro. <laughs> she is down bad. Actually, she she probably has a lot of money, but her life seems horribly tragic. I liked it better when she was on heroin. <sighs> I think that was Amanda Bynes. <laughs> no, nah, no, nah, she was no. Nah, so they're She's both a, of them. They're both of them. That's yeah. how you, there's a lot of them. Bro, the Amanda show would absolutely like had a that had a moment. That had, that, but had a moment. that's that launched the, that's a little bit before me. Yeah, I mean it was like the launching pad for like the people who went off. Like you yeah. went on there, you went off. You were in a sketch on that, like you went off after. Bro, that's like um yeah. No, wait, oh wait, Megan Fox. I feel like we still have. I I guess so. So like, yeah, cause she bad, but like, y- yeah, I guess. Yeah. I, 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 feel, I just threw in random shit. Well, to be no, honest. no, I I really like these uh these picks. Zuko, hell yeah, he's Is this five. Avatar, yeah, cool yeah. as hell. Do you still think that's the, the best com- the best cartoon? cartoon of yeah, that's time? my favorite cartoon of all time. It's better than Boondocks. I've never seen Boondocks all the way through. Whoa. I need to watch it. That's crazy. How do you call really? yourself a black man? 
And I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> they're, aren't they like releasing a new one too? They're releasing a new one. They're I all don't think up. that shit's gonna happen. Oh, you don't think so? No, I don't think it'll ever happen. I gotta watch it though. I have HBO. I just never got around to it. Bro, never gotta do that. Do yourself the service of doing it today. Say you should start watching the Boondocks now. You definitely should. You should watch the Boondocks. Zuko. So Zuko is he opium? Um, but I feel like Boondocks is more like an adult cartoon. Or South Park. Oh yeah, yeah. So so I'm this talking is about cartoons, like cartoon like, and like for children. I really like the Amazing World of Gumball. Yeah, that's a good. One. But yeah, maybe Avatar. You might be right. That shit is amazing. It's peak. Avatar is like really good, and I feel like it, like I feel like if you're like a kid and you watch Avatar, you probably have like like it's, a good job now. You're probably, <laughs> you're probably you know, pretty introspective. You think about shit. One hundred percent. It's got like a lot of adult themes. It talk about war, like exactly. slavery. It talks about like war and shit like that. No, I f- I feel like uh, if you'd have stuff like because I feel like kids Genocide. don't read anymore. Like the future, bro. Nobody's reading. No, no one's reading shit. Nobody, no. bro. If I was born, I I stopped reading once I got a phone. Like I don't think I read a book. Facts. Since. Yeah. What even is a book? I don't read. That yeah, book. I don't think I really read a full book. Since you think I that's making phone. us like dumber? Yeah. No. Or is it making us? More Why do you have to read? There's a lot of knowledge, bro. Fuck that shit, yeah. I think it all right, I think I think it I don't know if it makes people dumber, but I do think that reading sorry, teaches sorry. you critical thinking skills that you wouldn't have it from looking at a phone and watch. Like like so you, reading helps you think for yourself, is that what you're saying? Yeah. And and I don't think people write down that much. Like they don't write on paper like as much as they used to. Yeah. Which is a different type not. of writing that like makes a difference than typing on your phone. Hmm. Like create like analyzing something that you read when you write it down is different from just being yeah. like that, that is, type of shit. Yeah, no, that's a fact. Yeah, we're I, the last critical thinkers, probably. I think. I, I don't know about that. that's kind of <laughs> <laughs> the last critical thinkers. The, but like, yeah, low key. The, I don't know because I feel like you can just watch a song on your phone, and then you just scroll to the comments. You can see a hundred. But if you had to, when you're a kid, you're reading a book. You just have to make a judgment for yourself on the characters and stuff. Oh yeah, and for so sure. you really. That. It's really like your own thing, but so the I bro, like yeah, if I was born, yeah, like five years, like my I don't know, I have a, my little cousin, bro, he probably never had to read a book, and it was, actually no, I think he reads, but yeah, that's just not gonna be valid. So what you, you think? What you think the future is gonna be? No one's just watching speed fart on a girl. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be like no text though, huh? People are not gonna read at all. I mean, I, so it depends on who you are. You're gonna be weird. Like if you're reading, you're not gonna get any pussy. <laughs> I'm gonna be like, what the? F- you're reading a book right now, bro? What are you doing? <laughs> That's what I would. That guy did. doesn't fuck. He reads, dude. Momo. I don't know what I'm talking about. I was that kid. I was well, maybe a kid. No, I wasn't reading though. I was like being a loser and not reading. Most of both were. Well, why do you keep saying that? Why do you keep? I feel like you keep yeah, referring I keep to yourself. Yeah, I'm playing myself. Yeah, but I'm low key yeah, a handsome, bro. swaggy young man. Yeah, yeah, you chilling, bro. You you onto some things, man. Yeah, no, nah, no cap. I'm have, going have crazy. Have more confidence. No cap. Wait, so what, but why do you keep? Why, where does that come from? What do you keep uh, calling yourself a loser? Because like, I used to uh, use a Ninja Turtles lunchbox till like my senior year. That's pretty opium. Yeah, keep it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, yeah. that's hilarious. Um, Jimmy Butler opium, bro. But I and feel like Jimmy is. Butler fuck with like country music and shit. He does fuck with country that music. That shit is not valid. He's always reviewing coffee shops. And this shit. is opium as fuck. But also like, yo, he looks great. Yeah. The fact they pulled this off for this media, for media day. day. Yeah. Now it's his picture every he single time. He looks like he up throws up while eating pussy. <laughs> I'm trying to think. It's just, I, <laughs> like he throws up. I don't know. I don't. I don't even know what that really means. <laughs> Disgusting. Fuck! I wish I was good at roasting. I'm on your ass, boy. <laughs> you look like. Yeah, that was the last one. It's all good. Huh? Oh, is that the last? Is that the last? One? Uh, Jimmy Butler, sort of. I could see him. He looks like somebody, and I feel like you need. You, you should add like a like you. Uh, you know who looks like they could be opium? The bald guy from Codename Kid Next Door. Yeah, <laughs> like 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 one of those British kids that would be like. That was also music. a great school show. I, you just unlocked that the memory shit was for hard. me. Old memory. Yeah. yeah. What show is that called? Calling them kids next door. You don't remember? Show me the f- number the one, it's number two. Yo, should I say fuck it? Should I click the butt? Like, oh my god, my teacher's crazy. Oh yeah, you gotta get out of here, right? Yeah, but I'm trying to think, like, cause so so here's my current my current predicament. What's up? Talk to us. So there's there's the the Chinese bus I be taking. Actually, I shouldn't be saying this on a podcast. I need to gatekeep it. Yeah, I'll give your route up. That's all right, bro. Nobody will come out. Nobody. Imagine next time you go is just packed. Yeah, oh, it, it, it don't matter, bro. So the Chinese bus I could take seventeen dollars, but then also I'm also thinking now I might have went over the time, so I'm not even gonna have the time to do it anymore. Damn. Or I could take the well, how much is the Amtrak? 
<laughs> bro, I'm really doing this right. Um, we'll talk amongst yourself. All right, all right. <laughs> so, Let's so, figure uh, out this. so Amtrak, what's your experience like with Amtrak? Dude, I used to take the Greyhound. Oh, I took the Greyhound once all the way over to um, fucking Danbury, uh, Pennsylvania. For what? It's like four hours long. I uh, went to vi- visit my sister. Mm. Um, awful experience. Yeah, I Bus, took, those oh buses God. are awful. Dude, buses are ass. The Amtrak at least is consistent with their no fuckery. I was taking a bus back from Philly at 2 a.m. after going to an Eagles playoff game, and there was just this dude who was a passenger on the bus just lying on the middle aisle of the bus, just sleeping on the floor. What and the fuck? Yeah, exactly. We were getting on the bus right next to the driver. The guy's just lying on the ground, and then we're like, uh, excuse me, what are we doing? And then no one said anything, and they didn't want to like kick the guy or get him up. So we had to like, step over this sleeping guy in the aisle. And uh, <laughs> it was just like the most bullshit thing. Like I could just drop down on the floor and sleep. Oh, shit. So uh, so so here's my my current predicamundo. Go for it. All right, I could either. Yo, you also look like you could be like Cuban or something. <laughs> I quit. fucking I feel like I hate Florida. If I, I went on a cruise, which is even crazy scarier than Florida. Yo, that's the same of you to do that. It wasn't a. I was. It was a uh, work. I was work. Impractical Jokers. Eric Andre. Cruise. Oh, you were doing that. I was there. That's yeah. crazy. Yeah. What that? What, uh, I did some comedy on the cruise. Yeah. It was was comedy on the cruise fun? Yeah. Because I could either be like really good or like no, they're great fans. It was a fucking cool room. It was packed. It was like this big. People were like standing in the back. Was like other was Eric Andre watching and stuff? Uh, I don't know if he saw my set, but like there were a lot of people. Like who was on there? Like Adam Ray was on there. Maddie Smith was there. Fire. Uh, Saifa was there. That's fire. Yeah, you know what I just realized? Because you said it could be either good or really bad. If you bomb. Now you're stuck on a cruise with the people. Right. Everyone yeah. who knows that you just bombed. That does suck. <laughs> oh, my God. No. You got to jump over. They call me. There's like this thing. There's the backstory. I don't know. The backstory takes time to tell, but they call me Karate Trevor. Hmm. So when people on the cruise were like, oh, shit, Karate Trevor. Yo, that's crazy. You felt like the man? Dude, karate, when a guy called me Karate Man, he's like, I'm going to take a pic with the Karate Man. I was like, I've never. I was like, this What's guy. What's the inside? Does, I'm happy you experienced that. Thank you. Yeah, I always wanted to be. So like on the the taste buds podcast. Yeah, get out of here, Assad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My current predicament <laughs> is I pay. I, all right, so I I run. I dash to this to the bus. Uh-huh. Take it seventeen dollars, or I could take it at three twenty five, but it's thirty eight ninety nine, and there's three sets left at this price. Therefore, I'll probably have to sit next to somebody for forty bucks, and that shit will be nasty and gross. 